just loaded up um, our PCS3. I've got the game right here. I do have an update available for it. Um, I can show you guys how to get that taken care of at another time. But let's go ahead and boot the game. I just want to show you kind of how it looks at first, and then we're going to get into the setup and how to get everything hooked up. So I do have it connected to my Xbox controller. Um, you can see that here real quick. You can see down down below here it's it's connected. It's very simple. Um, I'll show you guys how to do that as well. But right now it's just kind of compiling. Um, I don't exactly understand what what is happening in, in this sense, but it's it's getting me ready to go. So the game's going to be loading up here any second. Boom, here we are. So the sound on it is not great, and I don't have the sound enabled for you guys because I just, I don't, it's just, it's not a great um, part of this. But it's pretty simple to get this thing going. Um, it's loading up for me now. I do have like a dynasty mode that I've started up and everything. Um, so I'll show you all that real quick. Um, but yeah, things are loading up. You can see I've got my dynasty. got my dynasty with ODU. LSU is somehow 0-2, even though they won the national championship. But yeah, I mean, this thing is very simple to set up, uh, and we're going to get into that now. So I'm going to go ahead and close out of this and take you all back to where we get started from. So you're going to want to go to this link right here, and it will be down in the description, rpcs3.net slash download. You want to go ahead and download your build for Windows, or unless you have Linux, you can download that. Um, we'll go ahead and download the build here. I'm going to run through this again with you guys. And what I would recommend doing when we make this happen is let's set up a new folder. Let's call it RPCS3. I had, the one I did was called PS3. I'm just going to set this one up. Let's go ahead and save it here. So it should be very quick. And then we also need to come up here to Quick Start. Um, so we've got this. We're going to want to go ahead and download the PS3 system software. I'm going to put this link in the description as well. I already had this downloaded, but I'm going to go ahead and download this again here. And let's save it to that folder. And then we also, if you don't have this uh, Visual C++, go ahead and download that. I already have mine downloaded, so I don't need to do that again. Um, so I've already got that taken care of. But as you can see down here, my stuff is getting downloaded. Um, let's go ahead and open up my RPCS3 folder that I have on the desktop here and boom. So you're going to need to have something to unzip these files. I use 7-zip. Uh, let's go ahead and extract here. Just went ahead and took care of that. Boom. That's done for me. And as you can see, this is the application file here. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and get this loaded up. Go ahead and say, I've read the quick start guide. Don't show again. Continue. Yada, yada, yada. So as you can see, this is the one that is a fresh start. I haven't messed with it. My other one down here, I don't exactly know how it's going to work with having the two different ones on my computer, but whatever. So this one's down here, and the first thing we need to do is go ahead and install the firmware. So that's going to be this file here. It's going to be in that folder we just created. So we're going to go ahead and install the PlayStation firmware, and that's what's happening now. So boom, that's installed. It's going to take a minute to go ahead and compile some of these modules. Um, it, it does this a lot. It's you know it's what happens when you got an emulator. It's getting stuff going um, but yeah this is running through now and in the meantime what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to get an ISO file for this game and I recommend doing it the legit way you know if you have a copy of the game there are plenty of tutorials on how to get it if not you know I'm, I'm not gonna get into how to make that happen but it's a pretty simple Google search to locate an ISO file for this game or for any other games uh, but while this is compiling, let's go ahead and take a look here at the compatibility part of the website. This is going to show you games you can actually play. So we're going to be going for NCAA football. And it's got a bunch of other ones on here too. You know, you can't play some of these older ones. But NCAA football 14 right here is playable. Um, you can even go back farther in time. But yeah, but it's playable. As long as you've got this, you're good to go. You can search through everything. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get back into this. It's almost done. And after we've got this installed, we're going to need to go ahead and hook up the controller, the gamepad. Um, I use an Xbox One controller. It's my favorite controller you know, on the market right now. You can also use a PlayStation controller. It might be a little bit easier to use PlayStation because the games, you know, 
like the menus are going to show you the PlayStation buttons because this is a PlayStation 3 emulator. So like when you drop them back to pass and you see X, you might hit X on the Xbox controller, but it actually was supposed to be A. So that can sometimes throw you off a little bit, but shouldn't be a big problem. Uh, let's go ahead and come up here to pads and you're going to want to change your handler over to the X input is the Xbox controller. Mine's already connected, as you can see down below here. Um, if not, you would want to come down, either plug it in, you know, hardwire with a micro USB, or come down into your Bluetooth settings. Um, very easy to set up here. I'm already connected, the Xbox wireless controller. Um, so yeah, so that's connected. Uh, if you end up having multiple players, you can hook them up that way. But yeah, so we've got that. Next, we want to come into the to the configuration. And I leave the CPU as is. I don't mess with any of these settings. For the GPU, I like to go Vulkan. Um, you want to leave the default resolution where it is. So the resolution scale, you want to adjust that to match what your monitor can hold. And I've got a 1080p. Uh, so I've got that updated. The aspect ratio, let's leave that the same. This um, filter here, the better graphics card you have and everything, the higher you can make this. So I'm going to go ahead and make it um, eight times, and that should cover us. Um, everything else I'm going to leave on. Um, I don't really mess with any of the other settings. It all should work. Let's go ahead and hit Apply. Let's save that. Um, next, we need to add a game. So let's come down here and hit Add Game, and you're going to need to locate your game. And I have mine saved on my Z drive here. So we're just going to go ahead and say NCAA Football 14. Let's select that folder, and boom, there it is. So I do have an update for that. We will get into that in another video on how to download the updates for your games. Long story short, you get the update file and you install the .pkg file. Pretty simple. But anyways, let's get into this. Right click on it and let's hit boot. It's going to take a minute when we do this because it's got to get everything pulled in. So it's kind of doing this for the first time. Just like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video on my other um, page down here that's already set up. Um, it's got to do the same thing basically. It's going to take a little bit of time to kind of just compile everything, get everything ready to go. But it, trust me, guys, it's well worth it. And, you know, I, I would recommend setting up a folder that you're going to save your emulators. And once you get everything put in, like it's going to stay there. Like I can go ahead right now. I have another game. I mislabeled it. It's actually not Top Spin 4, um, it's actually um, and, or College Basketball 2K8. So I made a mistake with that, but that should, oh, you know what, I'm, this one, I need to come in here and actually click on that file. I was kind of messing around a little bit. It's actually going to be, I think it's this one here for me. Nope, I was all confused because I was trying to add in both games and I labeled it wrong, but I think if we come in. I think it should be here. All right. Anyways, I ended up making a bunch of folders and screwed everything up on that game, but that's not really what we're here to talk about. Um, we're here to talk about playing NCAA football. So in order to actually get the roster file, that's going to come a little bit later down the line, but you know, I have a link in the description to take you to the download for it. Then you actually have to get into your settings on the application and get that saved. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that here in just a few minutes. First off, we want to get into a game, and then we're going to go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and just hang out and let this – it's going to speed itself up. So I'm going to be back with you guys in a few minutes. I'm going to fast forward the video. No cuts, nothing like that. Right, guys we are back um, let's go ahead and get this game booted up and in the meantime I want to show you how to get the custom rosters so you want to go ahead and get to this spot on your um, if, you know, your save files here so what I do a lot of times I just I'm gonna get you know type in this dev underscore HDD zero click home click on this zero 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 one we're going to save data and it's gonna be right here this is the file and you're gonna just go ahead and put that in this file you can download from the link in the description. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to get you 
the custom names for this past season. So yeah, it's very cool. And uh, here we go, getting loaded up. So it, it's, it saves everything for you so you can make dynasty modes. You can do all that fun stuff. Um, it keeps everything in check for you. So that's very fun. Um, you don't have to worry about um, any of the weird save strategies you use with other emulators. So as you can see, everything's working great. Um, let's just go ahead and go into a play now game. I want to show you guys how this all looks. And we can blow out the screen here. Let's go Alabama versus Florida. Getting loaded in. Keep it on the frames up here at the top. They go all over the place. I mean, for the most part, you know, you're getting pretty solid frames when you're playing a game. I haven't had issues. Um, if you've got a better PC, you can probably you know upscale some of your settings. So it's just really up to what your you know computer can handle. So, but here we are getting into the game. Um, we are playing at Bryant Denny, so that's always fun. Um, but we are looking good here. Um, things are loading up. It does my little you know little intro. It's got the updated players. We got our boy Tua right there at quarterback. Does not look like him, obviously, but it is him. Um, they really have done a great job with this. So we get ball first. Let's go ahead and show you guys. You can see just really crisp graphics here. Um, it's pretty amazing that this is what we get playing on this. So we got our boy Jalen Waddle. And he's down. Um, Tua, quarterback. Um, it's going to be fun to use him. Have not actually played with Bama yet. I've been doing my franchise or my dynasty mode with Old Dominion. But let's go ahead and get out here in the shotgun. Let's go let's go tight. And let's do a little halfback sweep here. Um, we're going to get the ball to the beast, Najee Harris. Um, yeah, Judy Rudd. This, this receiving core is just absurd on this team. Najee, big boy we got there. Um, all right, let's go ahead and throw one deep and... But I'll kind of show you guys the end of the video. But I'm going to go ahead and get back into my you know, graphic setup and everything for you as well. So you can see what I've got going on. Well, let's see if we can get a deep ball. Oh, they're on that. Oh, good play. Um, anyways, that's kind of how you set all this up. Um, as you can see, everything works very smoothly. Um, the better your PC, you know, the better graphics you can run it at. Um, so that's the game set up. I'm going to go ahead and close out of this. Get you guys into the configuration that I'm using. So this is what I've got for my CPU settings. Uh, for the GPU, I'm on, I do Vulkan. Um, I want to go ahead and leave the default resolution here, but go ahead and upscale it to whatever your monitor can hold. Uh, if you want to change this and it's a tropic filter, you can. Um, it defaults to auto. I had it on times four. You can bump it up a little bit. Um, it'll be just better graphics, but even if you know if I bump it up to 16, it's it, you know I might struggle a little bit. But we'll go ahead and just do that now, and I'll get back into a game to show you guys. I don't even mess with the audio; it's not a big deal. I didn't change any of these other settings. If you want, you can change your language, keyboard type, all that stuff. Um, we're not hooked up to a network. Don't gotta worry about that. I didn't change any of this stuff here. Um, you can get into the, some of these more specific settings. You know, the trophy pop-ups are kind of cool. I don't know how you can actually, like, access what you've earned. But anyways, we got that saved. Let's go ahead and bounce back into a game now that we're on that 16 times um, filter there. Graphics might be a little bit better. Should be, at least. That's what, you know, it tells you that it should do. Uh, it just depends on your PC, though. I mean, if you've got a, a slower machine or, like, a you know, just a normal laptop... Probably won't even be able to run this at all. So this thing actually, it is, it is pretty powerful. Um, you know, you gotta, you gotta have a lot of juice behind it. But we're getting this going here, and then we're gonna show you guys some of these updated graphics. Um, it should look great when we're playing. Um, it's pretty remarkable that this is what we can get. So keep an eye on the, that FPS at the top. You know, hovering at 60. I don't, I'm guessing that the game was 60 FPS. You know, on release. I don't know for sure. Um, and I had it back in the day on my 360, actually. But here we are playing it on PlayStation on my computer. So it's a little crazy how things have changed. But let's go ahead and just get into another play now. See if we can't get... There we go. Auburn versus Alabama. Let's get it started. See, we're still hovering right at 60 FPS. It'll spike down to like 25 randomly. 
But in terms of just overall gameplay, guys, um, it's pretty remarkable how good it is. So I love the updated rosters. They've got Bo Picks at quarterback for Auburn. Um, it's just it's a lot of fun. And you can also get in there and update the schedule if you want. But I, I normally do a custom schedule because I've got you know, my school, Old Dominion, and we are uh, <laughs> our schedule is not very good. Uh, so I made a custom schedule for my team this year, which is a lot of fun. Um, Auburn elected to get the ball first. Let's go ahead and sim to where we're on offense. I like to do that. Touchback. Bo Picks threw it away, of course, right? So, all right, now we're in. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the shotgun. Let's just pull up. Let's do a halfback off tackle. So, as you can see, graphics are looking very good for this game. Um, if I had even a better computer, we could upscale it even more. But here we are. As you can see, you know, we're getting 30 FPS at least when we're making some run plays here. Um, and what I've noticed, too, is over time, it'll get a little bit better. Like, it seems like after you've been playing for a while, like, it kind of just, like, gets comfortable with your system. Um, I don't know that for sure with these higher graphic settings that I put on. You know, I might struggle a little bit. Devontae Smith, good play. He's coming back to Bama this year. They're going to be tough with him. All the big guys. But yeah, guys, I hope you're enjoying this. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, take a look at the links in the description. They're going to show you guys how to get everything hooked up appropriately. Um, it's very easy to do. As you, you know, as you can see here, things are looking really good. Um, but just keep an eye on the link in the description. It'll show you how to. Ooh, I'm so big. Show you how to get it all set up. Um, that's going to do it for me. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content, and I'll talk to you guys.